This is a clip of Victor Malafronte thrown in a disc golf distance competition in 1983. Many things have evolved in the disc golf world over the past 30 years, but the most valuable transformation is by far the discs themselves. The pros were throwing whammo frisbees back in 1983. This was before discs even had beveled edges and looked more like something you would see your dad throwing at a barbecue. With today's technology, we have high-speed beveled edge drivers designed to cut through the wind to deliver the max distance with ease. According to the PDGA, the average drive distance for the recreational player in the 2020s is between 200 and 300 feet. This would represent that. And this is for someone who plays around once a week or when they have free time. The yellow represents intermediate player distance, averaging at 300 feet. And the red represents average distance for the pro player in today's standard. And this, this is the distance record throw in 1983. Yeah, using one of these. The PDGA started establishing world distance records back in 1970, where the first ever record was held by this man, Victor Malafronte. Victor Malafronte is the current overall world Frisbee champion. He says the music captures the mood of Frisbee. Frisbee is a, uh, a union between man's greatest tool, his hand, and his greatest dream, to fly. Victor was a pioneer in the disc golf world for all of us. He was PDGA member number two. Yeah, like the second ever. Victor kicked off the list with a record throw of 275 feet. The record quickly changed hands in that same year to Bob May who threw a 279 foot shot. This distance was groundbreaking as it would hold the crown for the next four years. In 1974, the record would change hands two times. Once to David Johnson with a throw of 290 feet, then back to Victor Malafonte with the world's farthest throw at the time of 375 feet. The record would be beaten year after year as the distances kept creeping higher until finally in 1982, Pal Brostrom from Sweden hucked the world's first record over 500 feet. Pal's record would go on to be broken the following year by Martin Sandorf. Continuing the trend of a new record holder every year or two, the distance continued to climb until 1995 when we finally found someone who would hold the distance record for the next six years straight. This is Scott Stokely. He threw a distance of 656 feet with the Discraft X clone, and to show his dominance, he went on to beat his own record in 1998 with a throw of 693 feet. Scott held the distance record for six years. And yes, the tattoos are real. Scott's run would end in 2001 to Chris Voigt when he threw a distance of 712 feet using a Discraft XS. The following year, the record would be set by Christian Sandstrom from Sweden. He's Christian Sandstrom, who earlier this year set a new distance record with a golf disc. Christian, you threw a golf disc 250 meters. That's incredible. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Now, for our American viewers, that's about 820 feet. Is it not, Christian? Yep, that's true. He would hold the record for the next 10 years until 2012. This is David Wiggins Jr. throwing 836 feet to take the record. Yeah. <laughs> Wiggins held the record for the next two years until it was broken again by Simon Lazat in 2014. Simon Lazat, we're at the distance competition for this year. And I was lucky enough to throw a new distance world record yesterday. Super nice, felt strong. It was actually my first shot of the day. Simon didn't hold the record long before David Wiggins Jr. reclaimed his spot at number one. With 42 mile per hour winds, the throw was 1,108 feet. Here is the graph we used at the beginning of the video to show the world record back in 1983. And this, this is David's throw that still holds the record to this day. And this is us. But hey, not all of us can have a 45 mile per hour tailwind.